Hello everybody, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade JGRASS mode. It'll take in uh, JDBC, this more specifically MySQL databases, and also uh, using the Apache uh, common line patches. Anyway, they're both related to jar files. So all you need to do is get the jar files and lay them in the proper directories, which is what I, all I did, and things will work. Okay, this is this website you got to go to get the, um, to get the commons line. Okay, archive, apache, org, dist, commons, lang, binaries. Uh, go ahead and pause the video and I'll wait till you come back. Okay, welcome back. By now you should be on this screen. So all you have to do is scroll down until you find this file here. Commons lang 2.4 bin zip. Go ahead. Um, Go ahead and pause the video, and I'll wait till you get back. Okay, welcome back. Um, now you go ahead and click on it, and it asks you if you what I want to do with it. I want to save it as ta -da, a zip file in that directory. So I save it. Boom. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and open the folder. Oh, uh, go ahead and pause the video now and then uh, I'll wait to get back okay welcome back now let me, I'm going to go ahead and open the folder and there it is all I have to do is click on it double click on it and it brings up this screen or this window and it's common line 2.4 I double click on that and this is the jar file that I want um, Go ahead, pause the video, and I'll wait till you come back. Okay, welcome back. By now, you have this up, so you go ahead and right-click on it, and you can copy it, okay? And you want to go to... ta -da, that we're done with that. ta -da, we're done with that. ta -da, we're done with that. You want to come to... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, and I lost the page. It's all right. I'll be right back. Watch this. C. Program files. J. Grasp. Way down there at the bottom. <laughs> there you are. Extensions. Classes. And now you can see that I already have these two in here. I have. Uh, the commons line jar, so if I, if I didn't have it, I just right click on it and click paste, and bam, it would come right in. It's already in there, so I'm not going to screw with it. And the other jar file, all right, so that one's already in there. Now, this is the one that actually uh, helps you connect to all the databases, the JDBC outlet, if you will. That is located in C drive, program files x86, MySQL, MySQL connector J. Go ahead and grab that jar file, lay that bad boy down right over here. There he is. Now, does this work, you may ask. Oh, I'm glad you asked. Here's a little test. Just happened to have one. All set up. Um, and what it is is just reads, it's a read-only action that gets a database. Okay, he's got his, uh, there are certain things you need in place. Uh, you need a statement, a result set, and then your connection, of course. And this sets everything up. Um, I'm going to select... I'm going to select asterisk, which means everything from World City, and this is my this is what I want it to look like. So now I go ahead and hit Run, and boom! Look down here, all my data is coming out. All of it is coming out, and it's a lot of it, so I'm not going to go all through it. Anyway, that ends the demonstration. Um, thank you very much for listening. Have a nice day. Bye bye. I'm going to go ahead and leave these up for just a second more so you can take a second look at it. Oh, darn thing. Hold on. This is a nice feature about Windows. There's one. There's two. There it goes. Okay. You want to take this and lay it down. You want to take it from this file and lay it down in here. And the other one. Actually, use the Commons Lang 2.4 jar. 
Okay, and that does it for today's demonstration. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.